afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for January 23rd, 2020. Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern. If you look at yourself as a blank canvas, so to speak, and you knew that within you, you had infinite energy and creativity. And you have unlimited potentiality. And you can access at any time you wish your power to literally create or, if you will, manifest whatever it is you wish, want, or desire. So you picture yourself, you picture this just, you got a white, blank canvas. It could be as large as a wall or as large as a room. And there's nothing on it. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That if you knew that you just know that you have this power, that you are this power, I should say, and you're faced with a blank canvas, how do you think, or what do you think, with each brush stroke, you would create for yourself on that blank canvas, which the universe provides for you? It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? And you begin to, I think at first a lot of people would be kind of apprehensive. The ego mind would be in there trying to muddle things. And you, it would, you would be like, well, let's see, what is it that I really want to create for myself? They probably have a lot of people do, um, you know, money, you know, create uh, financial wealth for themselves and others that there would be just a plethora of different avenues with different people looking at what they and it, it's up to you so each brush stroke you would literally create or manifest whatever it is you desire so that that and reality you have an infinite access to whatever it is you're desiring. Now, also understand that you have this subconscious, you're not really conscious, so you have these other uh, thoughts that come in that you may not be aware of. And those usually, fear is the biggest detractor. And the, well, we know how fear is created. It's from the ego mind to the heart mind. And so we have this fear of having. Think about that. When, when you desire something so, so much, and in a way you're desiring it, but then in another way you have that feeling. If you know what I'm talking about, that little, little feeling that comes in that's, it gives you, un, you're, you're discomforted. You're not, you're not, you're joyous, but you're, you're, there's something holding back. There's just something there. And, and it's kind of like an uneasiness uh, because it's an unknown, say. And the unknown is, is that what am I gonna do if I actually have it? What am I gonna do if I actually, if I really can, and manifest or create this for myself. What am I going to do? I have all this money. And that's just, a, that's an automatic for many of us because when we, when we look at it, on the surface, we look at it, okay? And we, we don't think about all the other stuff. We literally, we just, oh, this is great. This will be wonderful. And that's pretty much it. We surface, we skim it. We skim the surface. 
And we kind of just say, okay, fine. But when it becomes a reality, and we have created for ourselves during, before that reality kicks in for us, we, we, we become irritated, angry, frustrated, uh, vindictive in a lot of different ways because we don't have it and we expect for ourselves to have it. And this could not just be money, it could be anything. And then we feel guilty for feeling the way we were feeling before we received and manifested or, or, or literally created the wealth uh, that we were so much desiring. You see, see what I mean? In the interim, as we conjure through the ego mind to the heart mind, all of these, they're not positive, okay? We'll put it that way. We, we, we go through stages of fear. We go through stages of anger. We go through stages of addictiveness. Uh, we go through stages of conflict with our with our ego mind and, and ourself. And then when it actually takes place, we feel guilty for feeling the way we were feeling. See what I mean? And then when we have it, we also start to feel again through the ego mind, the subconscious mind, fear. Fear. Fear of what? Fear of being wealthy? Uh, fear of security? Of well-being? Uh, fear of not having it again? You see all these things that come in? It, it's like, have you ever... It, it, here, here's, here's a good, uh, I think a really good uh, avenue. Have you ever... Um, filled, you know, you fill a space with uh, uh, worry, stress, and fear about something. And, and, it, and it's just there. And it consumes you. And you worry, stress, and fear, worry, stress, and fear, worry, stress, and fear. It could be anything, right? And only you know what it is because most of us keep it in and we keep it hidden. Uh, but it shows on the surface to those who are receptive. And you, you worry, stress, and fear, worry, stress, and fear. And then what happens is, is that what you were worried, stressing, and fearing about becomes no more. It's eliminated. Like out of the clear blue, it's just done. It's vaporized. Then you go uh, from uh, the, the aspect of saying, okay, you're in the habit of worry, stressing, and fearing about that particular situation. And you get so habitual with it that then it's gone. What do you think happens? Because of that intensity and that habitualization that you have performed for yourself for so very long and intensity, you automatically, the subconscious mind and the ego mind, fill it. You, it it's a conjuring up of something that will replace it so that you can continue to worry, stress, and fear. Think about that. It, it, have you ever done that? Have you ever caught yourself doing that? Where you worry, stress, and fear about something, and you do it quite a bit, okay? Morning, noon, and night, it comes in, and it just kind of floods over, it just floods you. And, it, you know, it's taxing, and it drains you, and it pulls you down. And then it, 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 go, it goes, it's eliminated. Something happens, and it's gone, okay? Uh, it, it, if it's a financial situation, and, then, and, and you worry, stress, and fear about it, worry, stress, and fear about it, and then... Uh, money comes from somewhere and you eliminate it. It's gone. You don't worry, stress, and fear about it anymore. But you, you expended all that energy doing that. Now you have a void. It's an empty area. It's not filled. So it, 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 innately, instead of us filling it with a deep gratitude, appreciation, love, kindness, gentleness with ourselves, we conjure up something to fill it so that we continue to worry, stress, and fear about something else. You ever done that? You ever caught yourself doing it? And when we become conscious enough of, uh, and understand the journey within us and we become aware uh, and knowing of these, these little uh, intrusions that occur that we allow, we start
start to shift it. We, we are aware of it. So when that happens in your worry, stress, and fear period is alleviated uh, and, and the universe clears out whatever it is and it works out, then you, instead of taking that emptiness that you have had filled for a bit, could be a long time, could be a short time, could be a month, could be two months, could be a year, two years, whatever. You, instead of filling it with the a new worry, stress, and fear conjuring, because we conjure these things up, we really do. We, we, we create something that doesn't exist, so we embrace it and we create it, we manifest it. So something appears to fill that void of, again, starting the cycle of worry, stress, and fear. But when we become knowing, we say, oh, I know this. I know right now that this, I have this void here. I have this empty void. And that empty void, instead of filling it with more worry, stress, and fear, I'm gonna fill it with joy and peace, happiness, abundance, prosperity, well-being, and that deep gratitude and deep eternal love. And it totally shifts everything when you do that. It lets the universe know that says, hey, they want more of this wonderfulness and this goodness and everything. They're not worry, stressing, and fearing, so I'm not gonna send them more worry, stress, and fear. I'm gonna send them more higher frequency, more happiness, more joy. And we tap into the happiness and joy within us. We bring it out to the surface. And so the, this, this worry, stressing, and fearing, quite frankly, is nonsensical. It, it serves us nothing, zero. But if you notice how we hug it and how we grab it, and we don't like to let go of it. Okay? It's almost like we say, oh no, I need my worry, stress, and fear. I, I, I don't know what I would do without it. Instead of saying, I have no need for it, it serves me no greater good. So I've dismissed it, and I have filled it with a deep eternal uh, gratitude, deep eternal love, peace and joy and happiness and prosperity and abundance and wealth and riches. And that's what I do. I fill those voids with that because I choose to do so. Because I am the master and commander of all of this for myself. No one else is. And I'm aware and I, 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 am, and that I, I know that I am the one that creates everything that occurs in this life I am inhabiting. So well, how can, how can that be? Well, you put yourself in a place that gives you exposure to something to take place or occur. So you set it up subconsciously without knowing it, and then something occurs or happens because you happen to be at a certain place at a certain time. And you decided to be there at that certain place at a certain time. So in reality, you have created the situation that befalls you, whatever it may be. Or you literally conjure or create it through the ego mind to the heart mind and you embrace that thought from the ego mind which then you create into a reality manifesting I like to use create into reality so it, it, you, when you create into reality you make it a life experience and that's see as we you know as we are in the fifth dimensional frequency we will begin to understand this more and more, and we will become more finite and more, very, more in a deeper understanding of who and what we are to monitor as we travel through this life, to monitor things so that we're aware of them and we are not ignorant to them. So we're able to say, okay, I know what's going on here with me, so I know that I will do this, this, and this. So this will eliminate this, this, this fear that comes in, this, this worry that comes in. I won't have that because I'll dismiss it. It's not necessary. It doesn't serve me any greater good. So therefore, I don't care to have it. So I will dismiss it. And as you dismiss it, then the positive uh, higher frequencies come flooding in. And so we go back to the blank canvas. It is up to us to determine what we're going to design 
and what reality we're creating for ourselves. It is always up to us. It's not up to anything else. There is no happenstance. There really isn't. You know, there's no such thing as I've said many times. There's no such thing as coincidence. Coincidence is something that we made up in this English language that that, 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 that explains away things we don't understand. Oh, that's just a coincidence. It doesn't exist. That's a made-up word. All right. Anything that occurs, you have had a major role in creating it. Period. And when we know this, emphatically so, then we're able to redirect. We're able to bring in more positive flow, more positive frequency, a higher frequency. The deeper the gratitude we stay in, the deeper the love that we are for ourselves that we stay in, the higher the frequencies, the higher the frequencies, the more abundance, prosperity, happiness come in automatically. You don't go and get them, they come to you. And here's, here's the kicker, when you're knowledgeable of that, and you say, here they come because I have called them in. I have created them. I have taken these thoughts that I have selected through my heart mind that the ego mind basically shoots in and I have embraced them and I have turned them into a reality. I created them into a reality. So you imagine that and there's your, there's your blank white, stark white canvas and your paintbrushes and, and all kinds of colors. And you literally on the, that canvas and it could be as it could be 50 feet or you know just forever long endless and you just start at one end and you start creating your picture of your existence imagine that you create it and everything that you put on that canvas becomes a reality because you intend it and you know it and you've embraced it and that's you expect it because you have been the creator of it. To so see, it's not like, well, maybe, uh, possibly, uh, oh, who, who knows? It is, I know, because I'm the one that created it. I'm the one that embraced that thought. I'm the one that pulled it into creative. I created it into reality. I made it a reality for myself because this is something that I desire to experience for myself. If I enjoy wealth, uh, riches, wonderful health, uh, uh, endless prosperity and abundance, then I, d I create that. I bring that into reality. See? So I put it on my canvas and I bring it in. And it is so. It isn't, it isn't wishful thinking. It is so. It is a knowing. So you go, okay, so this, I've added this, and now I'm going to add this, and I'm going to bring this in, and you orchestrate it. You're the conductor. You're the songwriter. You're the orchestra. You're all of it. And you decide. Always it is you deciding. Now, obviously, people say, well, how, you know, what, what about this, this, this? That's when the subconscious mind and the ego mind take charge because you are not conscious enough to understand that they have taken charge and you still feel that you are in command. Okay? And it's not so much a control, it's more of a flow. It's more of you with confidence without ego through your heart mind that you just flow with it. And as each stroke of the brush flows effortlessly, without friction and without resistance, you begin to create a beautiful existence for yourself in physical form. You add things as you go along. You say, you know, I would, I would like to experience this. So I'm going to bring it into creation. I'm going to bring it into reality. So I'm gonna put this up here. And I'm going to add, put these colors and do this and do that. And, and I'm going to make it as flamboyant and, and spectacularly bright and brilliant. And then I'll blend these colors from your perspective. Because that's 
all that matters it's from what you desire to create for you and and with that comes more joy more happiness more bliss more enlightenment and as you do this you invite you open up this entire spectrum from source creation that you openly embrace and you get used to the flow you get used to it from the standpoint is that you know okay now I'm going to create this now to a lot of people that would sound absolutely ludicrous or ridiculous because they're still in 3D and, and this is something that we will understand it isn't a judgment that others are still mired in the 3D it isn't it isn't about judgment we you, you know it's like you're looking from the outside in you're not judging you're just saying okay i know what that was i no longer am with it they are and whatever i can do to assist them because they are part of me i will but i'm not going to go around trying to convert anything or anyone that is not my purpose no my purpose is is to enjoy my life that's exactly what your purpose is to perfect to experience for you and when that that decision and with your understanding of it and how you feel is what changes the whole fabric of this civilization is what uplifts it is what it, it literally levitates it into higher frequency now is it conscious of that in some ways it is conscious of it but is it is it individually or collectively i think that it starts collectively and then it begins to saturate individually because the collective begins to literally awaken all and it starts with the collective and so as a collective knowing spreads out the higher frequencies saturate the awakening becomes more you start having more of us literally waking up like getting out of bed clearing your eyes at first a little blurry and then you focus and then you start realizing that things have shifted and changed for you and there are people right now this this am that woke up and started to experience that does it mean that they're they're in total balance no it means that they're coming out of a fog a haze and they don't know what to think of at beginning they don't they're not sure just like we at one time were not sure and then they start to wanting to know things on their own they get a very heavy appetite to start reading and researching and everything which is good say and 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 their god within them starts to draw them and and literally carry them into these areas so what is the intuition it is the god within communicating with you you know what is that knowing that we get at times what is that knowing that we get at times it is the god within us communicating with us in the physical realm say it is the heart mind knocking on our door so if you, if if you realize that what you do is you're doing for the god the god is in a constant journey to perfect now the god is perfection and so the god inhabits physical forms why why if the god is is literally perfection personified why would the god inhabit a physical form since it's already perfect well the god inhabits physical form to experience what do you think that's what we do we all experience now but for a very long time all of us have been uh blinded so to speak is that the experiences that a lot of us have inadvertently chosen are not the ones that we desire 
Does it mean they're bad? No, it doesn't mean they're bad. Does it mean they're negative? No, not at all. But doesn't it make sense that you, you get to a point where you physically can perfect with your association with the kingdom of God within you and the heart mind and in working together synergistically, you are in command. Isn't that different? You, you, you are in command. Now, people say, well, aren't there going to be surprises even though we create and, and, and bring this, these thoughts into reality? Sure, there will be, you know, but we have designed it. Isn't it different for you to know, to just know that you are the designer of your life? You're the designer. You're the tailor. Do you want a set of clothes to fit you so well that you don't feel like you're wearing them? Or do you want a set of clothes to fit you that you're uncomfortable, scratching, binding, uh, tight, pulling? Think about that. Because that's that, that analogy is no different than some of the lives that we, that we experience and then the lives that we design. Oh, you can't design your life. That's, that's three-dimensional three frequency talking. What, what? Yes, we can. You can design your life. But here's the kicker. Your, your, your ego mind and your subconscious mind carrying all past baggage, you, it, it's a difficult thing for a lot of people because the influence... You know, we've, we've been engrammed with guilt and, and undeservingness and, you know, all of the low confidence, you see? And we're all beautiful. We're all perfection in these bodies. You know, we were created out of deep eternal love. Doesn't it make sense to you? We have everything that we could ever possibly desire. What we have to do is that without getting in our own way, is create it. This is what I want. It's, people say to themselves, this is what I want right now. So what do you do? You don't do it from, you, you know, it's like, I want it now, I want it in two seconds, I want it in an hour. You don't, it's not that way. You create it, you take this thought, you bring it in, you create it into a reality. And then it'll, you let it go. It'll come to you. There's no worry, no stress, no fear. It will appear one way, shape, form, or another. And you're conscious enough that when you do see it appear, you embrace it. That's it. And we can do this throughout our whole existence in these bodies. I want, I want to live to be seven, eight, nine hundred years old. Guess what? You design it that way. So different technologies are made, are made, afforded to you so that you can live to be 900 years old. It's never been any other way, guys. It's always been since we have been locked into the, the, the former third dimensional frequency, we have always lived this haphazard existence in these bodies. Fear, fright, worry, stress, anxiety, depression, greed, anger, vengefulness, all of this is the, it's the lower frequency so that we, we harbor those thoughts because of the low frequency. We are not in the low frequencies anymore. We have moved into the beginnings of the fifth dimension. You become more conscious, more aware. You also become more of the love that you are. With, with each step we take into the higher frequencies and dimensions, we become more of knowing who and what we are. So, you're the creator, you're the designer, and you're the reality. You're the creator, 
Okay? You're the designer and you're the reality. So you, you, you design, you design on your canvas. You then create by choosing the thought sent to you by the ego mind, but you are overseeing that through the heart mind. And then you're the reality. You bring it into reality. design, you create, and you bring it into reality. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure we all are. And the first thing that we want to do, relax the body. We don't know this, but our bodies are constantly in some way, shape, or form in stress. We don't know it because we don't pay attention to it. And it becomes so natural for us to be stressful that we don't even detect that we are stressful. Okay. But I'll guarantee you, each and every one of us in one way, shape, form, or another are experiencing some form of stress, no matter how subtle it may be. And the whole point is, is that, well, you know, people say, well, you've got to have some stress. Why? Why do you have to have some stress? That's silly. So, we alleviate the stress. How do we do that? Well, number one, we surrender. And a good way to do that from a visual perspective is that picture yourself with nothing. Literally. Picture yourself with no material value, uh, no material worth, uh, no dwelling, uh, no clothing, no food, no water, no nothing. Okay? Now, some people get a little frightened of, of actually uh, uh, visualizing this. There's a reason for it. Because your confidence through your heart mind, knowing that the universe will always have your back as long as you don't stand in your own way, it eases you. It literally eases you to do this. It literally eases you. It puts you at ease because you realize that it, it isn't a fearful thing to visualize. It's not something that you're conjuring or creating. It's something that you face and say, it's no big deal. And you know what? It'll never happen because you, you, you literally visualize that and you let go of everything. You surrender everything. You have confidence in the God that you are within you. You know that the universe loves you dearly and is always, ha always will have your back. It always works out, period, okay? And as long as you can oversee through the heart, mind, your ego, the body can then be at ease. And what does this do for you? Well, when your vessel is carrying you, the God within it, is at ease, you flow so much more. You embrace so much more. Your frequency increases so much more. Period. This is, you surrender everything. And then as you do this, you literally move into a, a really soft relaxation. Probably a lot of people have said to me they've never felt that before. It's not that way. So then, as you do this, you move into the now. Here's another part of us and understanding ourselves. So what does moving into the now mean? It means that whatever you're doing, at the very moment you're doing it, is all that you have all that you'll ever have. Whether it be washing your hands, your face, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, putting makeup on, eating, or even resting in the moment is all that you have in the now. 
And when you do this, you go into the now, the past, the present, the future are all in the now, because in this very now, we are creating our futures. Now, most are not cognizant of that. Most of people just kind of, kind of flow through life, whatever, whatever. Like, you know, flailing around like the ego mind does. But when you step into the driver's seat, through the heart mind, and you relax the body, you surrender all that there is into the God that you are, and you move into the now, you don't go into the past, drag the past into your future to create your future. You've already experienced all those things. Why revisit them? It doesn't make sense. And so you dismiss them. You, you flood them with uh, deep gratitude and love, and then you replace them with new experiences. And you don't wander off into the future wondering what your future is going to be like because you're already creating it right in the middle. See what I mean? So you've relaxed the body. You surrender all, the, all everything. And you move into the now. And then you breathe. Breathing is so important for these bodies. It, it is so overlooked. It's so taken for granted. We breath in through the nose and we breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in through the nose, we, we, we sustain it. We hold it for a brief period of time, which is about three seconds. And the three seconds is in these words. I am love, I am light, I am. I am love, I am light, I am. I am love, I am light, I am. And then we nicely breath out through the mouth. We comfortably breath in through the nose. We hold it with those words. And then we comfortably breath out through the mouth. And we want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. Now, as we breath in, we breath in divine positive energy of that which we are. So the divine positive energy, where does it come from? It comes from source creation. And all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Collective consciousness of this planet Earth, Gaia. And it, it, it is a constant flow. Most of us are not cognizant or conscious about it. And it comes in through the God within, and it goes through the heart mind. It never goes to the ego mind. It's always through the heart mind. And so as we go through the heart mind and we receive this information from the God that we are, it basically continually reinforces and educates us that your canvas is blank. There's the universe waiting to assist you in any way it can. Your source creation, that of which you are. And here's the God within, all waiting to assist you. You know, that is empowering. That's a fact, by the way. And so then you have the blank canvas and you say, okay, so I'm going to embrace this thought, this thought, this thought from my ego mind through the heart mind. And then I'm designing. And so I will design what I desire. And then as I paint and I design what I desire, I will begin to create it. And as I create it, it becomes the reality for me to experience. You see? You see how simple that is? It's not a complicated uh, picture. It is, you have your brush. You have your paints, and then you begin to design what it is you desire. And you have no doubt, period. You have the universe, always has your back. You have the God within, embracing you and loving you. And you 
have your heart mind. Think about that. And all with you. So you just, without any effort, you design, you create, and you bring it to reality, into your life, to experience. Now, when you breath out, you're breathing out again the, the, the subconscious and the ego mind trying to dictate to your heart mind. That's a waste of time. That's silly. Why would you want to do that anyway? Everything's fine. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep sending these thoughts in the thousands every day. And you can just, you know, whatever, they'll come in and then you just embrace them constantly and, and you know, create them into reality. Period. So quit, quit bothering yourself with that nonsense because it's nonsense and you know it's nonsense. You see how compelling that is? And then in a loving, high-frequency way, you say, no, heart, uh, ego, mind, I, I'm in charge here. I'm the master. And yeah, I love you, but you're not in control anymore. So I will choose the thoughts that you send my way through my heart, mind. I will design. I will create. And I will bring them into reality for me to experience. So, understand that we are, that we, we operate from the heart mind. Uh, and the God within, the kingdom of God. And we're all one, we're all together, all synergistically working with each other in love, in gratitude, in peace, in ease, in joy. And we have many with us. We have the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, and the archetypes. All the angels. This is this is a civilization that vibrates at a higher frequency. Now, as we have entered fifth dimensional frequency, we will begin to see more and more of them. And they know this, and they're celebrating it. So you will start to experience many different things, none of which are negative all of which are very enlightening. And so, you know, they appear here and there, as we remember from third density, but you'll start to see a whole different ball game. And their frequency, our frequency becomes even more close to theirs. You will see many new things that you have not seen before. And they've been with us since the beginning. And they are at such a high frequency, they're of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love, and the highest of deepest gratitudes. And because of their frequency that they are in, they can inhabit small space in major numbers. There are trillions of them. The ascended masters. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, El Moria, Abedantia, Thought. Now, many, many, many more. Now, their gods ascended out of the body and are in God form. Our gods have ascended into body to experience and to perfect. They have done the same thing. And they are here to assist with our transition. They vibrate at a high frequency from this perspective of from the highest, deepest, eternal love of the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest of deepest gratitudes. We're all together. So we come together arm in arm, hand in hand, and we create our circle of light, our halo, embracing the equator of this planet Earth, Gaia, who happens to be resting. And we, together, are, are such a brilliant light that it cannot be viewed by eyes. And it grays out the darkness and the sacredness of space. 
And this brilliance is the collective gods within us. We encase the planet immediately in ourselves in this high frequency, this deep eternal love and deepest of deepest gratitudes we embrace. These frequencies are so high that they, they perform a non-penetrable field of the lower uh, matter frequencies, the lower survival matter frequencies, the dark matter frequencies cannot hold their shape, cannot hold their existence. They fall away and disintegrate. This is what we have seen and are seeing in the 3D frequency, the three-dimensional frequency of this planet with all of these peoples and their scatteredness. Emerald green flaming healing light to remind us that we are that of the healing power. All right? The uh, violet, blue, purple uh, flaming light of uh, Archangel Michael. That we are the strength, the resolve, the purple transmuting flame. That we can literally extinguish the low dark matter frequencies by being in a much higher frequency. We transmute them in a neutral light substance. The violet ray of cleansing, we know that we can come in and cleanse all remnants or vestiges of anything that may have tried to hang on in the low frequency realm. The golden white pink light of prime source creator God, of source creation, of mother father God, all of which source creation created. The love that we are, that we were created out of the white fire to remind us that we are the protection of our frequency. The higher the frequency, the more powerful we become. We are all of these light spectrums and these frequencies. And so as we decide to uh, levitate, move up above the planet, we decide to step outside the body. And so we hover above the, the, the top of the body. We hover above the body. And we do it effortlessly. And we literally receive the stream of source creation, which is constant. It flows through the crown chakra through the body. But we're conscious of it. And as we do this, we, we are literally filled with the longing to call upon the other parts, the other facets of us, the other source creation. All of the light energy beings that are in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. All of them. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest and deepest gratitudes can join us in this meditation and this now in this circle of life. They're in full compassion and non-judgment. Non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness and kindness, generosity and humbleness, tranquility, benevolence, peace, joy, bliss, they come in the Googaplexes. Googaplex fills this entire universe. They come in the thousands of Googaplexes. They come from every single angle, every direction, effortlessly floating in and joining us. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this meditation, in this now in the circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we're all one, and we're all love, and our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of inner earth, Agartha, hollow earth, beneath earth, and there's many civilizations, and only those who vibrate at the high frequency of the high, of, from the highest, deepest, eternal love of the highest, deepest, eternal love, and the highest of deepest gratitudes can join us in this meditation in this now in this circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment. 
non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness and kindness, generosity and humbleness, peace, joy, bliss, benevolence and tranquility. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we're all one, and we're all love. And our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the galactics, off others. Just to name a few, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, and many, many, many more. And only those who vibrate at the highest frequency of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest and deepest gratitudes can join us in this meditation and this now in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity and humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence. They have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and slavery. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one, and we are all love, and our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Only those who vibrate at the highest frequency of deep eternal love from deep eternal love, the highest of deepest gratitudes, can join us in this meditation and this now in this circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness and kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility and benevolence. And they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. There are gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and above and below this planet in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, and the minotaur and many, many, many more. They're of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest of deepest gratitudes. Only those can join us in this meditation and this now in this circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind. Kindness, gentleness, generosity, humbleness, peace, bliss, joy, tranquility, benevolence. And they come in the trillions, shapes, forms, sizes, colors, configurations, of which we have never seen before. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. 
their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we're all one. And we're all love. And our godlike energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Lifting the very fabric of creation. Literally enlightening and lifting the frequencies higher and higher and higher. And deeper and deeper and deeper eternal love. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. Our meditative sphere set center circle. We created this sphere. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meditations, all in constant motion. The power and the highness of the frequency is not measurable. It can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond, and forever. It floods us, our physical bodies, our gods, and saturates us, bathes us in the purest of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, and the highest and purest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude, and it lifts us. And it has assisted us and will continue to do so as we travel, as we journey into the fifth density and beyond. It fills you with the knowing and the knowledge of who and what you are. You, all of us, are the designers. We are the creators. And we are the reality makers. It is in our power, it is of our power that this can be done. We choose it with ease, without conflict, with deep eternal love and gratitude. And it just flows as we flow, as the brush stroke flows with each stroke of the color of paint that we decide to use in our creation and into our reality. We look down upon this planet, Earth Gaia. We see all life. We see all of our brothers and sisters. We feel them. We know them. They are extensions of us. We are extensions of them. The more we can assist with our intent more we paint on our canvases, the more we assist them to in turn step into the bliss, to in turn pick up their brushes, start painting their canvases, start designing their lives to experience, start creating, start bringing into reality. I'll join you in the meditation and return to close us out.
you ask yourself, do I know, <clears throat> excuse me, you ask yourself, do I know I'm in fifth dimensional frequency? All you have to do is look around you. The universe is showing these signs everywhere. And throughout this day, and into the evening and night, following morning, be conscious, choose to be conscious, that you have always been and always will be the designer, the creator, and the reality maker of your journey within you and the God that you are and your journey of perfecting in the body you are currently in and beyond. We will be back here January 24th, 2020, 3 p.m. Eastern, Friday, 